Hello and welcome to X Rebirth and today we have a video on the subject of capturing ships. I know we've had two, sort of had two before, which have shown me capturing a Titarel and a Rohanus. But one of the comments made after one of those videos has taught me something new. And I don't think it's, perhaps it's not too easy, to very easy to follow what's going on if you're watching a capture of a ship during battle. That sounds a bit weird, but you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about later. So let's just begin anyway. First thing you need to do is preparation. If you haven't already got one, you will need a marine officer. Marine officer, the statistics, um, you can see them there. I'll say. What's up? Show, show me your, your skills. skills, please. Statistics, uh, stars here. Uh, you need boarding experience as high as you can go. It does not have to be five. As they board more ships, they gain experience, boarding experience, so that will increase over time. Oh, I'm sorry about these little messages, I'm trading as well. Uh, leadership and morale, they're the two to focus on for as, ma ma as hard as you can get them. They will make a difference. I don't think engineering does, don't think combat. Funnily enough, I don't think that does. Is leading them is not less than the, the the combat skills. So those are the ones to aim for. It's likely you will not be able to find. I mean, mine's five five five. You probably won't be able to find that when you're starting out. But keep your eyes open. Keep asking around for skills. I also use a skills mod. It, it it's um, I think it's called Show Me Your Skills. It's listed in the description below uh, with a link that one I can just speak to any NPC and they will tell me what the skills are so it's easy for me to find a 555 but it might be more difficult for you in your case and if you can't see the skills go for the most expensive one you can afford and that will probably be the best one I, I don't know that's what I've done in the past so that's up to you what you do uh, you will need Marines get 50 I have read somewhere that you need kind of like 10 marines or something but get 50 because they all they need experience later in the game you're going to want to capture bigger ships and you will need a more a higher attack rating if you like so you you can see with mine i bought 50 right at the start i've got no recruits they always all of them will be recruits when you're first starting out veteran marines I've got 37 and I've got 13 elite and that's just experience from ca capturing only a few freighters that's all but they're trained up and they increase my effectiveness um, if you want to know where to get them you can press enter bring up the menu this pops out and you're looking for well there's the marine officer but what you're looking for is recruitment officer and is it trader ship services recruiting officer there you go speak to the recruiting officer Stop and, and say i want to hire marines i want to hire marines fair enough okay and these are 20,000 each it's not cheap but if you've got less than 50 you, especially at the beginning when they're all recruits you might fail i'm only capturing a ship um for this I only need a captain get the best one you can um, oh the, the stats for the captain uh, you need leadership navigation and morale Hi there. show me your skills please Sure. leadership comes into play if you if you create a group of ships that will all fly together but not with you the leader the, the, the leadership score at the top makes a difference that's that's all so if you if, if you if you have a, a lower if, like four stars here I won't use this one to lead a group of ships but it doesn't mean she's a bad captain navigation is is uh, important I believe that's uh, agility should we say of the spaceship you know how quick can it go around a corner for example and morale uh, also important because they, well you've got to keep everybody happy in the ship I don't know exactly how that works but it does and I've got uh, an engineer you can see I've got two here and the engineer what? the only skill to worry about Show there is skills, the please. ignore 
ignore everything you only need engineering if that's at five you'll be able to repair the captured ship to 100 percent not uh, um, less if it's not five so let's go back into the cockpit and i'm going to uh, we're going to be going to look at one of my own tutorials and I'll give you a bit of a guided tour I think. So here we are out in space with one of my own tutorial and we're just going to run through those uh, the main points of what you need to be doing when you capture a sh any ship. Obviously the first, well perhaps not obviously, one of the first things that uh, you need to be careful of is a ship can quite easily escape and they will try to if it's a freighter uh, so of course the obvious thing to do is target the engines now keyboard commands uh, start and end on your keyboard you got numpad on the right sorry I know you're not stupid numpad on the right key main keyboard on the left and you've got the cursor keys sort of between the two above those um, start and finish now mine's a Spanish keyboard so mine actually has different words written on the keys but in that little block of six you've got page up page down on the right um, was it insert and delete on the left and it's start and finish in the in the middle okay so if I use those those keys I mean, you can you can check in your controls of your, uh, the control section of your options as well, of course. So if I'm just pressing end. Every time I press end, I switch to another sub target, I suppose, of the of the ship. I'm just going cycling through all of the engines, and then drone launch pad, and then jump chun truck blah, blah blah jump tunnel device. Okay, so take out the engines just. Click on the titter L1, press end, and shoot. Oh. oh, you can see it there. That's better. That lights it up nicely. Um, take out the engines. When you've taken out the engines, it can still jump. I believe. So, on the titter L, you just come down here. It'll be nice and highlighted for you. Shoot it a few times take out the jump drive and then it can't move and you can relax and do what it is you want to do now you as you tab through the various sub targets you will see a force field projectors I'll get that there we are that one but that one just highlighted I'll get nice and close and you can see what it looks like there it is. One of those. They look the same on all ships. Uh, don't know about Xenon ships. Probably not. But otherwise they will look always the same. Um, you can click on it like that or do the end beginning key. Now, here's what these do. These, they're like mini force field generators. Uh, they're called projectors. But what, what the, this one, for example, will create its own mini force field which covers gun these guns these over here and I think maybe this one maybe one or two more but they're scattered all over the ship the actual ships shields are something else completely it's these things down here let me get a bit closer these okay these are capital field generators it's simply that the ship's shield if I click on it's difficult to see oh I know how you can see probably can you see it in here hull oh, it doesn't show you the shield strength okay well um, if you look at the I've got it targets let me move a bit it's not very good can you see it better now? No. Maybe. Okay. The large target square, the one that says 688 meters in it. If you look at the top, you've got two bars, the blue bar and the white bar. The white bar is the hull and the blue bar is the shield. The shield is generated by those two things, these big things here. 
you get two on the Titerel, one on the Rahanas, and so on. And they also have shields which are very strong. So they take quite a bit of quite a bit of killing. Um you'll still have to take out the guns, or the guns will destroy your marines on the way in. So you can see you've got field projector, you can see another one down there. As I said, they do look the same, turrets, whatever. Scattered all over the place. It's, they look there's another um you can see some more. So this one, look, this will cover these guns. And I think there might be another one up there. I forget, but um, there's a lot of uh, lot of things to remember on these ships. So that's what those things do. You will also you will be asked by your what's she called the co-pilot. <laughs> by the co-pilot um, to destroy the drone bay which is kind of around here somewhere um, unfortunately <laughs> the only reason I can think of that she might be telling you to do that is of course it could launch drones which could either attack the marines in their pods boarding pods or if they're um, constructed drones they could be repairing the ship if you see any constructed this is my opinion. I've seen what somebody else who, on YouTube did it differently. If I see constructor drones, I, I destroy them. They, they're the ones that repair the ships. Um, they're just annoying. They, I keep having to go back and destroy the engines again. Stuff like that if I'm taking a long time and so on. So I just kill the things and that's it. Um, so that's basically what you need to look out for if you're the kind of person that has got very accurate clicking skills <laughs> then you will be able to do this and click on the guns but I find when I'm moving and, I, and so on I, I can't I just can't do it and you get smoke in front of it as well these are pretty easy to spot um, if you take those out well you'll, you'll see in the next bit of the video what happens um, I think that's all I'm mumming and eyeing a bit because I feel as if there should be more. Now you do need to know, I suppose, your ship status. Look in your ship status, you'll see your boarding attack strength, which is 128 for me. When you're starting out, it's going to be a lot lower. I think it's like 50 or something. Um, if I target the ship and press I for information, uh, there is 184. So the boarding resistance at the moment I mean everything's working so the boarding resistance is 184 uh, if I send my, my marines in they'll probably all die so I need to get that number a lot lower down to at least less than mine um, and, and in fact I suppose the lower the better really okay I'm going to go off now and find a Titerbell to kill or capture and I'll meet you there So, just buzzing around home of light, I've been, as you can see, been lucky enough to find a Titerel. Marauder Titerel. Um, and I, my shields are down because I've just been boosting over here. And it might be... Whoop. As always, predictably, it's very dark. Uh, as I mentioned, use the strafe keys a lot. And... Oh, I see. Right, okay. So, targeting the Titerel. Uh, if I press end on the keyboard, I target. There we go. So that was rubbish. Go for this one. Blow up the engines. Now I'm going to click on the big ones. Plasma cannon, I found that pretty good as well. So I, it's easy to click on the big ones, so you can just do that, you know? You don't have to. Concern yourself. You 
you don't always need to do end and start, but uh, let me end the beginning. But uh, there, I pressed end. If your ship is targeted, as I said, first press end, and the first thing you target is the engine, and then something else, and then the jump tunnel device. So I don't want it to jump away either. Watch your shields now. It's not shooting me. Why? That can happen sometimes. Not complaining. It just does. Uh, let me switch to uh, the railgun. Oh, by the way, obviously I can relax now. Look, there's nothing. The engines are gone. It can't jump away. Look, up here... That thing. Do you remember the? You can see it in the the multifunctional display on the right. Force field projector mark one. Now if I do that, you can actually see it. And we were looking at those just now. I suppose I can shoot it with that if I want to. Um, it has got shields, but no big deal. They're not bad. I'm gonna be using the plasma cannon in general. So I'm just gonna shoot that out. Don't have to, as you see, it doesn't take much. Now, if I'm, I'm what I'm doing, I'm pressing my end key. Let's get a bit closer. And what I'm looking for is there's some on the top. As I remember it. No, don't want those. There. Yeah. Now look at that one. He has, um, he has no shield. If I go like that. Oh, you can't see that one very well. Let's see. Neither is that one. But anyway, those two, they have no blue line at the top, just the white, because they've got um, no shield, because I just took out the force field projector. Now, I'll remember strafing. All of those, none of those have shields. So I'll just do that, and we'll go down. Look at the next one. And there it is. So I'm not, I'm not in a hurry now, and you're not either. Um, <laughs> to get these done, I'm just tabbing around. That's nothing. Um, I thought it was another uh, something coming in, and oh, there's the other one. Look. Ah, right, now. Look. Can you see these little things? Drones repairing. Now, I have seen people that leave them alone. I kill them. Um, the reason being, they will repair the ship while you're trying to capture it. So now I'm just going to go on to... I think that's all of those. So... Um, there's a force field projector, look. Very close, 550 meters away. I'm going to pop out and get that one. Now watch. Watch your shields. There. So, what I've managed to do is expose some guns on the right. So, I'm going to press that. End a few times. It's going to be somewhat with about 500 meters or something. I'll do it on the top. Oh, that one hasn't got. It's on the top, but look, it hasn't got a force field, so we can take care. Of, oh, I see. Take care of that one nice and quick. All right, now. Um, don't care about the drone pad yet. Um, definitely don't care about those. So I'm looking for. Oh, there's another one. There's one. Let's see if I can click on it. Don't think I can. Oh, did I get it? No, I didn't. Alright. Right, well, so I'll do it the long way. Can't, see, I can't. But they're so small, those little things. I just can't seem to target it. And... Oh, and there's one out to the right. So I've targeted that. 
There you go. I mean, it's all different ways of doing this. I suppose everybody's got their own way. Some people will be firing missiles and hoping to take out several at the same time. Um, some people will not bother with um, these uh, force field things that I'm taking out here. I mean, you can see how quick I'm getting them. I mean, you look, I can just see if I can, I can try and click on one. I've seen people do that, but I can't seem to target the stupid things. So, so I won't. Uh, okay, let's look for any more. It's low. Oh, he's not very far away. Where's he? Underneath. Oh, yeah, there to the side of it as well. There, I'm getting in there. I'm also watching my shields, because... Yeah, he got in. So I'm strafing. There we go, again, as I said before. Next, Jonah, don't care. Where's that one? Two kilometers, two kilometers, two. Hmm. Oh, hello, that one hasn't got one. That one seems to be exposed. Nice. There's one more up there. Right, I'm going to carry on. What? Oh, I'm. You know this. You know the drill. You. you it's in an early, earlier episode. I'm going to carry on. I'm just going to take everything out, and I'm going to, and then uh, I'll see you uh, a little bit later when there's uh, when I finished destroying all the stuff. Okay, everything's taken out, and the. So after taking out the capital field generators, the shield extender at the front still had shields and so did the guns attached to it. So um, there we are. Now we know exactly what that does. It's like a, a mini shield generator. That's perfect. So I suppose the reason to take them down is to... Um, make it easier to destroy the guns and that's all so I don't know if you could leave them up or not, I've never tried okay boarding resistance, if you remember my board, the boarding resistance of my Titerel was pretty high um, a lot more than 75, it's gone down every time you destroy something it goes down um, now my boarding strength You've probably forgotten this 121. So the only other thing I can do, which you will need to do, is take down the hull as low as you need to until you get a decent uh, score here. Boarding resistance is now 72. Shoot it a bit. It's 71 and so on and you can take it down as low as you like I mean uh, right now it doesn't seem to be any danger at all with this thing getting hit by anything so that's great okay um, let's board let's make sure there are no nasty surprises first right now she'll let's find anything the engines. great there's an engine but that's okay there's no shields to protect it, so there we are. That spot looks just about as good as any other. Launching pods. Let's make sure they get there in one piece. Launching at the target. I don't know if it's really necessary, but I do stop um, shooting while these things are going in, only because uh, I don't know about friendly fire. I don't First know if you can damage arrived. them yourself. Um, so let's let them go down. No more pods in flight. All right, now for the fun part. Should find anything else you need to destroy, and there's nothing, so I'm just gonna shoot the hull a bit. Remember, it lowers their boarding resistance, so I'll just keep lowering it. I 
I'll have that engineer soon enough on that he can repair everything so all of my marines still gaining experience and um, well great if I'd only sent 10 in only 10 would get experience uh, so just keep your numbers up to 50 and then when you're ready to capture that uh, big xenon destroyer you'll, you'll have 50 trained marines let's have a look 52 I don't I don't need to keep shooting, but to be honest, it's a bit boring. If I don't shoot it, what, am I, what else am I going to do? Oh! Well done, well Great. Done. Watch it for us until we bring a replacement captain. Sometimes not now, but it can... What are these? Are they drones? Funny. Um, yeah, sometimes you might capture one of these and there's a risk of uh, support flying in or whatever. So, what, for that reason, that's why people do say... Let's get, just get that. Get down as quickly as possible, whatever else you do. Uh, get your... Here he is. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Show me your oh. skills, please. Eh, come back on board. There. Get that done quick as you can. And then... Uh, slow down a bit, relax a bit more. So get your captain. Hi there. And what? Okay, here. sir. I'm moving into my new quarters now. He hasn't got a lot to do. And then an an engineer. Both of mine are what? equal. So work here. I'll move over to my new DT station. It had better not look like a rubbish dump. Great. Back into the ship. Oh, close the window first. Back into the ship and job done. So I hope that was a bit more mm, instructive than what you saw before. And that's about it. The only thing that needs to happen now is the ship needs to be told to go somewhere. So I'm going to do that now. Is it targeted? I'll target it. Press C. Hello, sir. I am so at your service. New order. Fly to. Um, fly to position. And I'm actually going to send it. And we can see where I captured it. So yes, you do get pirate ships here. I'm going to send it to Westgate. There's a shipyard there that that will sell it some drones. So I'm sending it to a position. I'll just send it there. It's pretty safe down there as well. And then. It won't move because it's got no engines, but your engine is in there doing its job. Um, the hull's already going up, I can see that. And very soon, the rest will follow. So that's all. Please say hello down below. Like and subscribe if you liked and want to see more. And we'll see you next time.